Grass is always working behind the scenes. Grasslands cover 40% of Earth's land. That's nearly half the planet's surface. Let's start with a quick fact. Almost everything you eat comes from grass. Look at this list. Bread comes from wheat. Rice, that's grass. Corn, also grass. Beer, yep, barley, also a grass. If you take away the Pocaceae family, the scientific name for grasses, our entire food system collapses. No wheat, think about it. No wheat, no rice, no corn, no sugar cane. And here is the wild part. This has been true for thousands of years. Ancient, did you know that ancient Egypt was built on wheat? I mean, China's entire civilization is founded on rice. And look at the Mayans, corn. Every major empire fueled by grass. Think about it. Without grass, we might still be hunting and gathering. So how did grass become so powerful? What makes it different from, say, a tree? Well, grass is the ultimate survivor. Check this out. It grows fast. Some grasses, like bamboo, can grow over one meter, I mean three feet, in a single day. That's insane! And, two, it covers almost everything. Grasslands make up 40% of Earth's land surface. That's nearly half the planet covered in grass. It survives fire and floods. Burn a forest? It takes decades to regrow. Burn a grassland? A few weeks later, it's back like nothing happened. Some grasses even need fire to grow stronger. It bends but never breaks. Unlike trees that snap in storm, grass flexes and adapts. It doesn't fight the wind. It moves with it. There's a lesson in that, right? Here is where it gets really interesting. Grass didn't just shape nature. It, it shaped us. Think about it. The agricultural revolution. Humans stopped being nomads when they learned to farm wild grasses like wheat and barley. That's how civilization started and domestication of animals. We have horses, cows and sheep. They exist today because they could survive on grass and we tamed them. And then your lawn is a mini grassland. Ever thought about why we have lawns? It's because for centuries grass was a sign of status. If you had land covered in grass, it meant you weren't starving. Today, it's just grass. <laughs> so, what's next for grass? Because here's the truth, it is in danger. The climate change and desertification, as temperatures rise, some grasslands are turning into deserts. That's a huge problem for food production, but grass might be the future. You see, scientists are now working on turning grass into fuel. So imagine a future where your car runs on grass instead of gasoline. Well, Elon Musk will come to rescue. <laughs> and then we have wild grasses as the solution. Farmers are studying drought-resistant wild grasses to breed new crops that can survive climate change. See, 
Progress isn't just our past, it might be the key to our future. So next time you walk across a park, step on your lawn, or eat a bowl of rice, remember, you are standing on millions of years of survival, adaptation, and pure botanical genius. Grass is everywhere, and yet, most of us never stop to appreciate it. So, what surprised you the most about grass today? Let me know in the comments, and if you love discovering the hidden magic of nature, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more episodes. Until next time, stay rooted, stay curious, and keep growing!